What's going on everybody? It's Mitchapalooza Gaming and today we are starting an NCAA 2004 Dynasty. So right now I'm creating a player. I'm going to put him on the team I'm going to use, which is Connecticut State. Figured why not pick a, a state without a state school, or one that has it in the name at least. And so we're not going to make our guy too good. Uh, the team is set at the cupcake level. So for those of you that don't know, that is the worst possible overall you can set a created team. And so all the players are in the 50s, even the 40s, and then a couple will be in the 60s for overall. But they're going to be pretty bad. So we're going to try to keep this character in a realistic range for what the team is. So we're going to add a little bit. I'm, I'm thinking at best we're going to make him a 65. So let's see what we can do to get him to 65. Uh, we're going to want injury all the way up. We don't want our guy getting hurt. So high. Give him good stamina. All right, so that might be it. We're at a 64 for throw power. You know, let's give ourselves a 60, and a, let's get more accuracy. Let's see. Okay, 66. Let's take it down one. All right, I think we're going to settle with a 66. Maybe I'll take a little bit off his injury. Yeah. So 65. All right. 65 speed, not great. Decent awareness. Obviously, throw power and throw accuracy aren't great, but you know that's that's what we're working with here. You know, I the only thing I would worry about is if I recruit a better quarterback. I do want this guy to start. He's gonna be a true freshman. I want him to start all four years, or however long I stay at Connecticut State. But I think that's going to be it. I think he's going to be a 65. All right. Coaching contracts are on. So now just to give you guys a little bit about me, um, I went to Bowling Green State University. So this is a team that I'm obviously going to keep my eye on throughout the whole year. I am from Connecticut. So obviously UConn is a team I'm also going to watch. Um, in this game, Dan Orvlosky, future pro quarterback, is their starting quarterback. And Bowling Green also has a future pro quarterback, Josh Harris. I don't know if he ever played in the NFL, but he was drafted, and he was a big reason why this team was any good. And then I am going to grad school at Arizona State, so they're another team that I'm going to keep my eye on. But So let's add our school. So we have Connecticut State, which is the school we're going to be using. And then we're going to put our other creative school that is set as an academic. And this is a school that I used to play with. Really not a good roster either. And I'm going to, but I'm going to put them in the game because they might be a school I want to transfer to as a coach later. And we are going to stick them... You know what? No. Mitchell Blues is going to go to the Conference USA. say we are going to play in the MAC. I'm going to take out Akron because they're one of the worst teams in the division. Actually, no, I'm going to take out Marshall. They're not in the MAC anymore, so they feel like a team that I can take out. I know they are pretty good in this game, but I'm all right not having them in the MAC. UCF, I'll leave them. Take out Marshall. And all right, that's who we're going to continue, and that is going to be our team. As you see here, we are a one star prestige. Uh, got a guy. Uh, we're not going to give him glasses. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Begin Dynasty. Okay, so what we're going to do is, like any small-time school, so it looks like we're in the East Division of the MAC, if that's what it's, or the West, I should say. Toledo, Kent State, Buffalo. I know the MACs change up their divisions a lot. So what we're going to do is, we are going to start with an SCS school. You know, see if we can get an easy win. Um, but we're actually, yeah, we'll play off. Sure. Why not? And then we have two ranked teams, which, again, is realistic. I mean, they would pay, basically pay for us to play our entire season. And then instead of playing Troy State, we're going to play our in-state rival. And we're going to take on UConn. You know, they're University of Connecticut or Connecticut State. That's our big rival, and we will take them on week six. So, pretty tough schedule to open up the season. But I think this is the one we're going to stick with. I do want to play Bowling Green, but 
we could just say, at least for this year, hey, like maybe we'll meet them. Oh, we actually can't play them because that would put us over too many conference games. So I guess the only way we'd ever play them is if we met in the conference championship. So we're going to go with this schedule. Now, I'm not going to redshirt players because we don't even – we only start out with 51. Most schools have 55. So I don't think it would make sense to redshirt anyone. But here's the roster. So we do have a couple players in the 70s, which is very nice. I did not know we would have that. So we might have to run the offense through our halfback. But, you know, a lot of these guys, 50s, the linemen, the, I mean, the best one's a 60 overall. So that could be a problem for us. Uh, you know, but the team's definitely better than what I thought we would get. Obviously, some players are in the 40s. We've got a few, but mostly it's the 50s and 60s, which, you know, I'll take. I will take that. Coach options. So our school's a one-star prestige. We're a one-star prestige. All right, to get a contract new rule, they want a bowl season or a bowl bid and a winning season. So I think those are things we can do. Uh, the team can't go down in prestige, so that shouldn't be a problem. So I guess let's look at our play week. Got a couple games week one. Where are we ranked? Oh, we're ranked 53rd. I think we just took whoever marshals. So I think they were ranked 53, so we just took them. But as you can see, we're not really much better than they are. They're actually better than us. They have better special teams, better defense, and then we're tied. So let's simulate through week one. Kansas State, good win, San Jose. All right. So let's see. You know, I love it. I'm, I'm happy we're in the MAC. That's my favorite conference, obviously, because of Bowling Green. And then I think it's just a great competitive conference. You don't have teams running away with it every single year. It's competitive. They usually don't repeat champions. So I'm glad we're in the MAC. And I think Connecticut State is ready to make some noise. And it all starts week one. You know, I don't even think I spelled Greenwich right. But I know that's the richest town in Connecticut. Didn't look up how to spell it. So if it's a made-up town, it's a made-up town. Look at our key players. So their key player is their running back. So that tells me maybe focus in on blitzes. All right, looks like we're kicking off here. But that doesn't mean that guy should drop stuff that hit them in the hands. So usually I'll up it for both teams so no one has an advantage. I think for the most part, we're going to run a 4-3. I, if I remember correctly looking, our defensive line is better than our linebacking core. So it makes sense to have more of those guys. And a big sack. First defensive play of the, of the program history is guys getting in the two down linemen instead of linebackers. So we're going to run the same play. Um, I definitely want to keep blitzing, keep the pressure on, because I think when you're playing a bad team, Starting aggressive early is the best way to play. And, you know, it, I think it's really important for us to get a win week one against an FCS school. And there's another sack. So now we're going to bring it back. We're going to run uh, double. Yeah, we're going to do double slots. Kind of patrolling the first down here. All right. And that's, I mean, that's the best way to start off this game we could have asked for. Not only is it a three and out, but they lost 10 yards overall. I'm just going to fair catch this. I don't really like returning punts all that much. Um, I don't think you get a lot of yards, so I usually just kind of like to take the fair catch, don't fumble, don't get, you know, tackled and lose the ball, whatever it might be. All right, first play from scrimmage. At least we're, we're making some some yards. I mean, I've, I've played with, you know, really bad teams against really good teams, and then 
you know, haven't been able to even pick up good first down. So it's good to see early that we can at least get something going. And that's what I was talking about, right off his hands. I know that guy's the worst player on our team, but uh, it's just you still don't love to see that. All right, we're what are we gonna run here? Uh, we're gonna go with flood. Right. Hopefully, you know, get someone past the first down marker. Um, it's nice that our quarterback, well, he's not like fast. He has some speed to work with. So we're just gonna run this for the first down. Make a play there. Oh wow, he's going. Oh my. All right, we're gonna we're gonna start the no huddle right away. We're gonna we're gonna go on the ball. You know, I don't remember what exactly every audible is, so I'm probably gonna have to click around because I, I want to hand the ball off here, but I guess we'll just throw again. See if we can test out the arm. Take a nice little gain there. See, I don't love scrambling every play, you know, but, it, you know, if they're not going to stop it, and also I think something I have to remind myself is that this team is really, really bad. So, like, they're not going to be able to catch up to a quarterback scramble. Like, if we were playing, you know, we have Oklahoma or Texas, whatever ranked team we have next week, they're they're going to be able to handle, you know, these, these quarterback scrambles a heck of a lot better than this team will. So let, let's give it to our fullback here, see if we can get the first down. Beard. Let's see if Beard can do it. And he can. Great run. I don't know about you guys, but I really like the neon green and the white jerseys. Getting us in the shotgun, but I am gonna audible into a different play. I just wanna I gotta find a package with my tight end, and so I probably will actually start one of those receivers at the other tight end position just because I really can't afford guys to just drop balls that are like right in their hands. And just like that, it happens again. Oh man, that's frustrating to say the least. It wasn't picked off. Looks like we're going to settle for a field goal here. Nope, they don't think we have the range. So, you know, I'm actually going to take their advice. And I'm going to go for it. Let's see, there's a huge fourth down conversion. Play action, take a step left. I'm gonna fire to Maxwell. And, you know, I probably should have just ran it there, but I was really looking to make a play with my arm. All right, so, you know, we're, like I said, we're just gonna do a lot of blitzing. Almost every play is gonna be two linebackers blitzing. And I'm usually gonna control the middle linebacker. That's where I feel most comfortable. Also, for future games, you know, you can't do it in-game, obviously, but I'll probably up the quarter length to six minutes just to give, you know, a little more time for gameplay. I don't really mind the extra couple minutes that it's going to take. Oh, man, that's a tough way to start this game. I, I don't like it when they go for picks like that. It usually results in a long touchdown. Oh, boy. Never good going down 7 nothing to the Hofstra. Flying Dutchman, I believe they are. Don't even have a football team anymore, I know that. I know they cut their football team years ago. So not the way we wanted to start out our first ever game, but the comeback is greater than the setback.
Maybe let's let's incorporate the run game here a little bit. You know, let's get under center, hand the ball off, just shoot it up the gut. I know in some of these older NCAAs, that's really the best way to attack a team isn't through the air, it's actually through the ground. And we are going to try to go no huddle, really just pick up the pace, throw the defense off their game plan. Um, but that is going to require some reading at the line, because I have no problem audibling, even with a fullback out there instead of a wide receiver, I'll go spread still. All right. And we're going we're gonna to try it right here. This is a big third down. You know, we definitely can't afford to go down 14 nothing. I don't know if we'll be able to win after that, if I'm being honest. So we're going to try wide receiver under. I'm looking for Atkins here. Fake him out with a pump. And sacked for a big loss. No one was open. They were absolutely blanketed. Right, not the best first quarter, but, you know, let's, let's stay strong. Um... We're gonna keep blitzing that. That that part of our game plan is really not changing. We just can't allow mistakes like we did on their last drive. There it is. That's what we need, honestly. That's, every time I play a video game, I always lose through the air. And then when they try to run, we, we stop them. That's every Madden I've ever played, NCAA I've ever played. Screen. And he connects on a huge pass. There it is. All right, we're going to need to keep doing stuff like that, you know. First down here. I'm confident giving them a field goal at this range. And that was big. That was absolutely huge sack for the boys. Let's go. Get the team fired up. Make them punt. That's what we needed. Wow, they faked it. And they got it. Oh, that's ridiculous. They just did a fake. Oh, my. Oh, my gosh. That's terrible. Oh, oh man. They're really pulling out the cheese today. We just gave up a fake punt pass touchdown. Oh my gosh. We can't, like, they, they just don't want to block. They It's like they don't want to block. Let's see. No. There. This is, everyone just go out. I'm going to just try to scramble this entire way. Nope. Get it. Got it. Let's go! On the ball. That was the second completed pass of the entire game. All right, we're gonna try, all right, this play. See, that's a pass that honestly in NCAA 03, they would probably mess up because line drive passes, if you threw a line drive pass, it would usually just hit off the guy. You kind of had to lob almost every pass, unless they were running an out, like going straight out, like a, a streak route. Other than that, they would usually lose the ball. All right, we're just going to run it. He's not that fast, but when you're playing a team like Hofstra, it, it's okay to take advantage of the fact that their defensive linemen and their linebackers are going to be really slow. First down, big first down on the draw play. This is good. I'm, I'm feeling energized, honestly, by the, the energy that we're showing and the passion. We just got to keep it up, you know, see if we can get things going. Ah, that's not what we needed. That is... Oh, boy. That was... That's a bad pick. Don't like to see those. I think we're going to lose this game. I, I don't want to give up hope too, too early because there's a lot of game left. But to go down 14 to nothing, is, it's not a good start. But that helps. You know, when you get a sack like that, that helps a lot. I'm 
we need to stop, and then we need to get the ball back. We need to get the ball back and then go no huddle. All right, that's big. We're going to call a timeout. Okay, now we're going we're gonna to keep – we're going to go cover two man, but we're going to kind of keep the pressure on. I'm not going to have everyone do prevent or anything. So I'm going to kind of just patrol the first down line. I don't think they're going to throw here. I really don't. All right, good. Good stop. Take another timeout. And sort of point. And we do get the ball at the half, which is very nice. So let's just get something going here. All right, they're starting to pick up on the fact that I'm going to run a lot. But this guy's still too slow to really do anything about it. Look, at they have negative 20 rushing yards. I know that counts sacks, but, like, that's still real bad. We're gonna do a draw with a wide receiver here. Don't fumble. Thank you. All right, I want our halfback back on the field, even though it is gonna be more of a passing role. I still want him. He's a, you know, one of our best players, so it just kind of makes sense to have him on the field as often as we can. I, I don't know. I don't know what to call here. I really don't. They're doing a great job of keeping a QB spy. Take off. Take off! And he breaks a tackle! He jukes, he breaks a tackle, he gets the first down. You know, we needed a, a, a scrambling quarterback. Our other quarterbacks weren't going to cut it. Not because they weren't good. I mean, overall-wise, they're almost just as good. But we need a guy who can pick him up and put him down with his legs. Let's see, nothing. Kid, go. All right, on the ball, on the ball, 30 seconds. Keep it going. Oh, I think we're gonna run a draw play here. See if we can get it in the end zone. Go, go. All right, back on the ball, back on the ball. I don't wanna burn that timeout until there is one second left and we're trying to stop the quarter from ending. That's the, the idea with that. Okay, that's, oof, I don't know what that was. Don't know why he started running as I threw it. I definitely wasn't telling him to move. I was standing completely still. But we're going to literally try the exact same thing. And we missed. I don't know what to do here. A part of me really does just want to go for it. Because, oh my gosh, that's, that's awful. That's really, really bad. But we're, we're going to kick it. Honestly, we're going to kick it. Because we'll get the ball, and if we can put it in the end zone there, or at least get another field goal, it's a one possession game. So we gotta think smart. Don't wanna be shut out at half. So we're just gonna drill it. It's good. All right, the first ever scoring drive in Connecticut State history. Oh, all right, not a good half, but. At least we have a little bit of momentum going into the second half. You know, we get the ball. So that's always nice. Well, we're gonna try it. Oh, I thought it could have broke it for a little, a little something, something there. But you know, we're gonna take what we can get, not get greedy. I kind of like Kid on the outside there. There's no safety help. Ah, uh, we're just going to take it. Our quarterback's really just taking a lot of the load here. And, you know, quite frankly, I don't really feel bad about just running all over him with the quarterback. Just because sometimes you really just got to, like, do what you have to do to win. Oh, boy. get out of there. Got it. Way to get open. Way to find something. Great protection by the offensive line there. I was really just standing there with no one to throw to, and they were able to buy me some time. So all the credit to them there on that play. Oh, way to absorb your blocks. And King is going to... He's going to get in. That's the first touchdown in Connecticut State school history.
just barely gets it off as he's going to get tackled. King makes a great adjustment, gets the ball, and then absorbs his tackle and stretches out, gets the touchdown, and that's what exactly what we needed. You know, I actually just thought about going for two here to make it a field goal game, but we're just going to keep it the way it is. All right, now the defense. You know, that's that's exactly what we needed. 70 yards in just over a minute because we were going no huddle almost the entire drive. That's the kind of drives I really like to see out of this team. Look at that. We're doing a great job stopping the run. We really are. I'm going to keep blitzing. I'm going to make them beat us in the air. And we might start calling a couple more plays out of the huddle here. But a part of me thinks if, if, it, if it's been working, keep doing the no huddle. I just do get worried with a team with not a lot of talent. You know, when you run no huddle, guys can get injured or guys don't have the stamina to stay on the field. And then you got second stringers on a team that's already the worst in the entire country. Oh. He was wide open, just couldn't make the throw. King gets it. Oh, he can't get around. Oh, he does. He breaks the tackle. And we're going right back on the ball. We're going right back on the ball. Jaguar speed is what this is called. Jaguar speed. Bowling Green used to call it Falcon Fast, so we're going to call it Jaguar speed. And he drops it right off his hands after he's had an amazing game. Especially his speed, if I remember correctly, is only in the high 60s. So it's not like he's like, oh my gosh, what was that? He was wide open. Just laid in there. We got to go for it. I mean, we, we have to go for this. This is big. Pump fake. And he barely gets it. I think if I don't think if I would have juked, I would have gotten it. You know, they're doing a good job coming up and pressing. Uh, that's one thing I like about this game, and they programmed in. If you do a lot of running, they do start to bring a spy on you. King with a huge catch. Can he bake the outside? No, he can't. But that's okay. We're gonna get right back on the ball. And I'm trying to get some of the other guys involved, but he's just the one getting open. You know, I can't help it if guys aren't getting open. Let's change Burke's route. Send him to the straight out route. Nothing's there. Pick up some blocks. And he gets in for the touchdown. Yeah, that was just a read and react type play. Saw the pocket was starting to collapse and no one was getting open. So once they they blitzed on the outside or were able to rush the outsides, I knew just take it in for the score would be our best bet. And that gives us the first lead in program history. Go up by three here and just hope that the defense keeps holding. Maybe the offense can get another score on next drive. You know, going into the fourth quarter, up uh, by three would be really nice after going to the half down by 11. Week, you know, there's nothing wrong with losing to ranked teams. If, you know, you, you got to win your conference games. That's the biggest thing. And just like that, they're back in it. You know, I start talking about next week, and here they go, just driving down the field. The quarterback's having a heck of a day. Quarter. Yep. what I like to see out of Connecticut State right there. We're going to blitz, and we're going to just try to get to the quarterback before someone can get open. There it is. That's exactly what we needed. We need our D-line and our linebackers. They're going to get the pressure. So what we do is we just, you know, we're just going to get coverage sacks. That's what it is. I don't hate the thought process of running some clock out here. You know, there's obviously four and a half minutes left, so it's not like we can just run out the clock. Not saying that, but calling a couple plays under center and just turning off a few seconds, especially if we can keep doing that. If we can keep breaking runs 
for, what was that, five yards? I mean, that's, yep, five yards. Why not just keep doing that? So we are going to pass it here because I think we're going to be able to, yeah, it looks like they're going to be bringing a little bit of a blitz, so I'd love to just jam them up here with a pass. And we got it. Oh, my gosh. I was a little worried once I let the ball go that it was going to get picked. But we're able to put it in a good spot, and we're going to go back to the ground game here. There it is. Biggest run of the day, and he's still going. He's stumbling, and he's bumbling forward. This is what we need to do here. That's exactly what we needed. A huge hole. He's able to just capitalize. We're going to go right back to the ground. We're going to run it right up the gut. Maybe they're not going to stop us. Maybe they will. They were stopping us all first half. We had to go to the air, but now I think since we were able to score 17 unanswered basically all through the air, they're starting to go back into pass coverage a little more, play a little deeper. And let's not forget our running back is our best offensive player, so why not just feed him as often as we can? So, I mean, eventually they are going to have to start calling timeouts here. I'd say after this play I could probably see them calling one. flushed out of the pocket, and he takes it on a scramble. You know, that one, the blitz came in hard, and I just had to take off. I definitely didn't want to scramble there. I did want to focus on, you know, the, the pass game, but and it looks like our backup running back, Booker, is in. Gage must be pretty tired, which is fine. I think Booker can get us in the end zone here. We're gonna try the fullback dive here. See if we can just sneak one past him with Beard. There it is. And that's the game, folks. It is now a two score game with a minute and a half left. I think it's safe to say Connecticut State is gonna wrap up their first win, scoring 24 unanswered points if this goes in. Just over three minutes, which when we start playing the six minute quarters, basically just took an eighth of the game to go down and get seven points, which is perfect when you're in the lead and it's the fourth quarter. Safety playing zone and me, the middle linebacker, is the QB spy, so I can basically just kind of do whatever I want, go wherever the field I'm needed. So, yeah, I'm real, I'm real happy about this win, honestly. As a coach, you know, my first ever win as a head coach, yes, it's an FCS school, but sometimes that's what you need. Your first ever game head coaching went down 14 nothing. We didn't panic. We just made a couple adjustments, went into the half down 14-3, to and then in the second half scored 21 unanswered points. Oh, oh, we're speaking a little too soon. I mean, I'm still not worried at all. It's tough to get onside kicks. So as long as we just keep holding and make them, you know, waste the clock. They don't have any timeouts anymore, I believe. So they're going to have to spike it here, waste it down. Yep. Oh, no, they do have one timeout. So they do still have another timeout, which I'm going to assume you got to save for next drive when you get the onside kick. You know, if they were to get it and throw a Hail Mary, get tackled, they would have to call timeout, get the field goal. All right, another first down for the Hofstra Flying Dutchman. Not not upset with the defensive play here, though. Honestly, we're get, we're not letting anything behind us, which is good. We're not giving up a giant play for a touchdown, which is essentially all we need to do. And then also, you know, this is we've gone the entire half basically without giving up a single point. You know, they had 14 going to the half, and one of them was a special teams touchdown. So. Technically not on the defense, so. Oh, good play. Way to break that one up. Force a third and ten here. I like it. We're going to bring a little bit of a blitz. We're going to run fire green. So everyone still has a man. But then we're blitzing two of the outside guys. Up the pressure a little bit. I don't want the quarterback standing in there feeling comfortable. Yeah. 
a good defensive play. That's it. Fourth and ten. This is it. This is where we need a big, big stop. We're gonna we're gonna run the same play. We're gonna do fire green. I like the fact that we were blitzing and getting a little bit of pressure. The coverage wasn't great, but I mean he made a great play. He was able to adjust to the ball. And there it is. That's why we bring a little bit of a blitz. We get the sack. Like I said we just need to build on this. Um, our schedule, considering we're the worst team in the entire country, it, it's hard. I mean, we had no cupcakes. We may just be playing in the MAC, but I mean, the MAC, especially in the early 2000s, was very competitive. They had some really great rosters. A lot of pro guys coming out of the MAC. I mean, Marshall produced a lot of pro players. Um, and I know we replaced them, which is nice. But, I mean, schools like Bowling Green got a couple of NFL guys in there. I know the other MAC schools like Toledo had some good players around this time, Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois and Bowling Green were ranked this year, and College Game Day was at Bowling Green in the 2003 season. So, uh, we're going to take a look at the stats. So, offense, you know, we killed them. Passing yards, they almost doubled us, but it was the rushing yards where we really just were able to take our game to the next level. Take a look at some individual stats. I mean, their quarterback had a heck of a day. 7 for 14, 171 yards, a touchdown. I mean, that's pretty solid numbers. Rushing, they just really weren't able to get it done. It was really all the quarterback getting sacked that killed their statistics. And then obviously our quarterback was able to lead us, get a lot of rushing yards, got that touchdown. Chaz Gage with a big game. You know, I didn't even, it was really the second half he started turning on, and I wish I could got him a touchdown, but, you know, he just wasn't on the field when we were in goal line. We weren't able to punch it in. But, you know, overall, a solid day. Not a great day passing. You know, one touchdown, one pick, barely over 100 yards. Completion percentage is low. But that's the kind of team we're going to need to be, just situational passing, just more get the ball down the field however we can. You know, we don't have a star player that we're going to focus on. So I would definitely say I'd like to see us pass more, especially because, like I said, the physics in this game, they're a lot better than in 03. But, you know, we're going to do what we need to do to win. We're not going to just try to force the ball either way. So overall, it was a pretty good day for the boys. Take a look at that box score. There it was. We went down early and just came back to put up a big second half. Like I said, I don't know if we're going to stay 53rd in the country, but with a win, I mean, it's not going to hurt us. I don't know. All right, we're going to simulate through week two. And like I said, you guys know their teams I'm going to be looking at. Teams that, you know, hopefully when I play in each division eventually, whether I just move Connecticut State in there or I leave as a coach, you know, I don't really know. But I'll, I'll see how they did in their first game. Oh, Tennessee lost, so they lost their ranking. They were 16th when we scheduled them. But it will be our first regional broadcasted game, so that's going to be interesting. They're still 28th, we're 50th. Like I said, we're getting the benefit of the doubt taking over Marshall's ranking. You know, they don't actually know how bad we are. Fellow MAC team got a big win their first game. They're playing two SCS teams to start the season. Interesting. Kent State beat Akron. You know, we got to check out on our divisional games, you know, see how the teams in our division are stacking up. Because that's, that's the goal. I mean, I do want to make a bowl game, win a bowl game, but the ultimate goal is to win the MAC. That would be real nice. Wow, Bowling Green lost. To Western Kentucky, who is now a Division One program, but at the time were FCS. Uh, Bowling Green's quarterback is a 92 overall in this game. They lost week one. All right, so maybe that's the team we won't be seeing in the championship. Auburn with a big win to start the year. Miami, obviously crushing LA Tech. Mitchell Palooza, they got a win to start against Baylor. So Mitchell Palooza is a little bit better of a team. Like I said, they're academic, whereas... Connecticut State is a cupcake team. That's oh, pretty cool. They show the box score here. A lot of improvements from 03 to 04. Not oh, a good game for them. School I'm definitely to keep my eye on. Pretty sure we put them in the comments USA. So there they are. Not a tough loss to Indiana, but not super surprising. You know. Your quarterback's not ranked as good as he really was. This, this, his junior and senior years where he popped off, and so he's not a great ranking. We got Tennessee. That's going to be a fun game. 
Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.